Welcome back. We are still in conversation with Dr. Klendao Yang, who is the founder and executive director of Human Systems Dynamics, and we are going to learn a lot more about HST. Klinda, talking of HST, you say it's, uh, it's very mobile and it's very flexible and it's very dynamic. What has been the process of evolving? How did it start and where it is now? How has it evolved? It began, of course, with my own personal journey. I was running a small company. I was an entrepreneur. And it was very controlled. I knew what was going to happen. I structured what would happen. Everything worked exactly as I expected it to mm -hmm. until it stopped. <laughs> so in the late 80s, there were technical changes. Technologies were growing. Companies were merging and splitting. The economy crashed. My clients went global. Suddenly, all the assumptions that made my world so certain and stable were out the door. And so my business practice and the things that had intuitively worked for me before mm -hmm. were no longer effective. And so I needed to find a way to think differently about my work or I had to just get used to failing. And I didn't like that. So I looked at multiple management literatures about what it meant to be an entrepreneur. And some of them were too directive. Okay. and strong and deterministic. They said, you should have a, mi a vision and you should not sleep until it's done, the courageous leader mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. And then the other extreme was a little soft. It was just support things and let them emerge and it will work and everything will be fine. And my business partner and I looked at those two and said, neither of those works all the time. We need both of those sometimes, and neither of them all the time. And that was the birth of HSD. We found in complexity science a theoretical explanation that says, yes, sometimes nature is structured and tightly coupled and predictable, okay. like a rock. Okay. And sometimes nature is loosely coupled and emergent and random and surprising like a cloud mm. and most of the time it's somewhere in between True. and that if we're going to be effective in a world that is human nature as well as nature nature we need to build capacity to work in all of those scales however tight and controlling we need to be and however loose and adjusting we need to be. We need capacities across the scale, but more important than that, we need a way to judge what is the fit along that scale for a particular time and place. So there's structure, but it's not rigid. There is structure, but it's free-flowing. So somewhere, you know, we have this right brain, left brain, we are this, 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 this type, and we slot ourselves. And somewhere in this whole process of life and relationships where we start slotting ourselves, we're actually designing ourselves and setting conditions for some particular failure. And I think you're saying, it's OK. You are a structure. You're a system. But you have to be open. Yes.